Starting my hike at Iroquois Park. I'm walking on uphill road. I'm gonna take one of the new trails today. It's another beautiful morning. This is the new trail I'm taking. This part of the trail runs in between Rendell Road, which is down there, and Uphill Road, which is way up there. There's a trail at Waverly Park called the Twisting Bends Trail. This trail is a lot like that. This trail definitely doesn't go straight. I think this is some devil's walking stick that fell across the trail. You definitely don't want to touch this. Look at all the thorns. Still on this new trail. I like this trail a lot more if I saw more deer. But as many times as I've hiked it, I've only seen a few. I'm on my way down to check out the pond next to the disc golf course and then I'm gonna take a different trail up to the top. Nothing's going on at this pond. A Canada goose was nesting here and when the eggs hatched she had three babies and I think something got all three of them because I haven't seen her for a couple of days last time I saw her she only had one left nature can be cruel first time I saw them there was a male and a female but then the male disappeared and that left mama on her own. There's a red winged blackbird down there. And it just flew off. There it is. Where's it going? There's two of them. I heard some quacking behind me. It's two mellow ducks. They're right there. And the pond is over here. That mama has some baby ducks, and I think all of them disappeared. Last time I saw her with a baby, she only had one. I'm going to leave them alone and take off. I'm going to take this trail up to the top and passing some May apples. I 
I'm getting off the trail I call the Twisting Bends Trail. And I'm going to take this trail up to the top. This is a pretty straight trail. Made it up to the top. South Overlook. Up that way. I'm on Top Hill Road now. The overlooks are so overgrown, the views are all obstructed. There's just too many trees in the way. This is the Panther Point Overlook, and as you can see, there's no view. I'm checking out the largest pond in Summerfield. Nothing going on here. What's this on this daisy? Some kind of a fly. I think it was a gold back snipe fly. I didn't get a real good look at it. I didn't do much hiking around in Summit Field. It's so overgrown and I don't want to get any ticks on me. I'm on the Boy Scout Bridge Trail. Or the trail they call the Red Trail. I'm looking up at the Boy Scout Bridge. I didn't see a deer up there. It's a young buck. Probably not going to stick around. It sees me coming. It knows I'm here. It was looking at me. I'm a little closer. It's watching me. A little closer. It's getting ready to run off. There it goes. There it is, and I think there's some others in that area. There's one over there. There's the young buck. There's the Boy Scout Bridge.
That one just ran off. I think it was a doe. Pretty sure it was a doe. See one of them up there. Oh, there is the other one. I think that's the young buck. Where is it? It's over there. There it is. I think that's the young buck. I think I see his antlers. Yeah, that's the young buck. She's up there somewhere. He knows where she is. I'm getting back on the trail. And there he goes running off way over there. There he goes walking down that trail. I'm not going to follow him anymore. I'm on my way to the north overlook. This is as close as I'm going to get to the North Overlook today. I'm going to head to my car now. I see some brown-headed cowbirds on the ground. I'm cutting through Summit Field. I'm trying to stay out of the tall grass. What is that bird at the top of that tree? Oh, I think that's another brown-headed cowbird. I'm leaving the summit field. I'm going to go do a little off-trail hiking to get to my car. I'm off-trail hiking now on my way to my car. It's still beautiful out. There's a nice cool breeze. I'm on my way down this hill. I'm getting closer to my car. I see Rundell Road. I'm going to take that horse trail that runs next to the golf course back to my car. It's time for this old man to go home.